Come all you rounders, if you want to hear a story about a brave engineer. Casey Jones, that was the rounder's name. On a heavy eight-wheeler, he rode to fame. Casey Jones mounted to the cabin, Casey Jones throttle in hand. Casey Jones mounted to the cabin, took his farewell journey to the promised land. He tore through South Memphis yards on the fly. He heard the fireman say to him, you've got a wide eye. All the switchmen knew by the engine's moan that the man at the throttle was Casey Jones. The rain had been falling for five or six weeks. The railroad track was nothing but the bed of a creek. They raided him down a 30-mile gate, threw him the southbound mail about eight hours late. Fireman said, Casey, you're running too fast. You run the block board the last station you passed. Casey says, yeah, I believe we'll make it through for the engine steaming better than I ever knew. Casey says, fireman, don't you fret. Keep knocking at the fire door. Don't give up yet. I'm going to run the engine till she leaves the rail or make it on time with the southern mail. Round the curve he saw it coming down the dump. Two locomotives and they're bound to bump. The fireman hollered, it's just ahead. We might jump and make it, but we'll all be dead. Twas round the curve he spied a passenger train. He roused the fireman, caused the bell to ring. The fireman jumped off. But Casey Jones stayed on. He's a good engineer, but he's dead and gone. Casey says before he died, there are two more lines that I wish I'd tried. The fireman said, what can they be? Why, the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe. Poor Casey Jones, he was all right. He stuck by his duty both day and night. They loved to hear the whistle and ring of number three as he rode into Memphis on the old I.C. Headaches and heartaches and all kinds of pain are not apart from a railroad train. Tales that are earnest, noble, and grand belong to the life of a railroad man. Casey Jones mounted to the cabin. Casey Jones throttle in hand. Casey Jones mounted to the cabin took his farewell journey to the promised land. Amen, brother. All right, enough of that foolish. Today, well, you can see I'm wearing my Ewing Oil Company shirt. We're gonna talk about robber barons of, well, yeah, of the way back when. No, we're not. We're going to talk about, well, slowing down and, and taking a deep breath and uh, not rushing headlong like Casey Jones. So, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. So, if you don't want to listen to any boring stuff, you should probably, well, use Smarty Bob's clicker and, well, find something else to watch. And if you want to stick around, it's probably not going to get any better. Smoking some Casey Jones Heroes Blend. I truly like this stuff. I know it's a little cheap. I know it's a little cheap, but I've watched some of the other guys get it, and I just thought I needed to try some. So, well, I did because I'm frugal, and it's got a great jar note. Um, I Once again, I am not a reviewer, but this Casey Jones Blend has really stuck with me. It's, what a great taste. There's it's nutty, I don't know, caramely... It's just good. It's just good. And that's just my taste buds. So you might find it if you try it a little bit different than that. Smoking my unbranded, unbranded. Love that stuff. It's just got a really sweet. It tastes like when you get a really good like vanilla cigar that's sweet on the outside and it just makes your lips sweet. That's what this tastes like to me. So anyway, I enjoy it. And uh, I enjoy the poem of Casey Jones, too. It's been a long time since I heard that or read it. And there's a few different translations to that. It's not quite the same on all of them, but yeah. So, but anyway, talking about slowing down, uh, the world's fast paced, you know, jobs, fast cars, fast girl. Never mind, we're not going to get into that part of it. But um, 
I found over the years, we, we used, my grandpa, when I was younger, had a room that was probably 15 by 15 with HO scale trains in it. Just, he took years to build it. It had a center in the middle of it where you could open up a little town as a trap door, get in the middle of something derailed, or you needed to work on something. And I was fascinated by trains at an early age. My, my uncle Ince, uh, one of my heroes, he, uh, well, he worked on the Burlington Zephyrs in the uh, Burlington Railroad shops. So uh, he was one of the first ones to get to do that. And I thought that that's just, that was interesting to me. And he worked on a lot of steam locomotives, in fact, in Burlington, Iowa. The steam locomotive that's actually downtown by the Amtrak station is, uh, well, yeah, he worked on that locomotive. So pretty cool. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. It's nice to smoke it with my, uh, well, my engineer cap on that my good late friend Brenda gave me. God bless you, Brenda. Rest in peace. My sister. And uh, anyway, the railroad train set is actually right over there in this room. I know you guys have seen me in this room many a times, but I've never really panned over there or anything. But the railroad track's over there. I like N scale because it's, well, it's hard for me to see. So I really like to have to squint to really get trains back on track and such. But uh, at one time in the basement, we had a big, big, huge, I think it was a 10 foot sheet of plywood. And I think we had 15 trains on it, maybe. Uh, all this way, that way, over the top of each other. And that was when my son was younger. And after he left, we uh, we downsized to two trains. But my granddaughter's starting to really dig the train thing. She likes to watch them, likes to touch them while they're going. And that's a no-no, granddaughter. But, yeah, we've had a couple wrecks. We've had a couple wrecks. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm thinking about putting a few more trains on here. This is just a work in progress right now. It's kind of just been sitting there. But uh, I found the other day that when I was running out, working on it, cleaning some track, uh, it's relaxing. So just like the pipe, everybody needs a hobby, you know. And one of my favorite things to do is play guitar and, and write. But playing guitar, I can't always move my hands the proper way. So it's, it's, I have days where I can go for a couple weeks without playing because I just can't get my fingers to work right. So, But with the train, all I got to do is full steam ahead or full steam in reverse and yeah but uh we try not to go as fast as casey jones we try not to derail at the uh well the creamer railroad here but uh anyway i just thought i'd show you a hobby and uh you know take you out a hobby even if it you know smoking a pipe i realize the ytbc is full of pipe smokers and then and, and relaxation and pipe smoking but Sometimes a guy just needs a little extra oomph in his stuff, you know. And we've got firearms and sharp things and puppets. And by the way, speaking of puppets, I got to talk to Mike at Old Man Things the other day. And we talked for about, I think it was an hour and 15 minutes. What a, what a nice guy. And, uh, he truly acts and laughs just like he does on his videos. And his laugh's infectious. So, yeah, if you haven't checked Mike at Old Man Things out, do so. And uh, I think that's all I got to say on this Monday. We're, we're counting down the days. This will be my... One more Monday to go here at the uh, Al Hood East, and then we're going well to the Al Hood Acre out west. So, I'm excited for that. And if you remember the last time I wore this shirt in a video, I think it was Captain Goofinoff, my buddy from Tucson, Kurt, was with me. So, we'll have some shenanigans out there. We'll have some shenanigans. So, it'll be fun. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Get you a little hobby. Get you something to do. Get you some zen. I, I realize pipe smoking is some of you guys' hobby, and that's awesome. Um, I just like to kick it up a notch, and trains are my thing. So uh, a little tidbit you probably didn't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to let you go. And uh, by the way, Chad at Griffin Pipes, that Volani that, you're, that you restored, my friend, I great stuff, great stuff. All the Sharp Thing videos are really cool. So. Anyway, tip of my haberdashery today, a different one. Uh, hasta luego. Going to catch you in the next one. Don't forget to shake them jars and get you some Casey Jones Heroes Blend. I do highly recommend. Um, and it's not my fault if you don't like it. Because <laughs> I'm a terrible reviewer. I do.